It's not easy to watch Dan Keplinger struggle with life's simple chores. It's also very difficult to understand what he's saying. But luckily, he has another way to communicate. Expressing myself. It is a drive to keep expressing myself. The voice you heard is his former intern and now assistant, Brianna Pleasant. He knows that it's easier on everyone when she interprets. Uh, if he seems familiar, you may know Dan by his nickname. Uh, Suzanne Hannah Hadari and William A. Whiteford for King Gimp. King Gimp. This is the Academy Awards in 2000. Starting 28 years ago, these two Baltimore filmmakers chronicled the life of a boy from Parkville with cerebral palsy. A boy neighbors called King Gimp. A boy who found art, which led to a fine arts degree at Towson. As a man, art, while a passion, is now his career. He put so much effort into it, his knees ripped through his pants. We're here in downtown Towson because a show of his work has just opened. In addition to being an artist, he now teaches and mentors. So he thinks it's crazy that students email him about doing papers about him because you'd think that they would want to do Picasso or something. Other artists with challenges are in his yeah. show too. The artist who created this wrote to Dan saying that Dan's life is the inspiration that allowed him to create. I think everybody can be a hero because everybody has something to overcome. We see Dan's differences, but what he sees is what draws us in. Art is a way for um, to bring people together. In Towson, Mike Shu, WJZ Eyewitness Matter. News. Yeah. There, background. No matter their background. Because